Hey guys and welcome to something very special, very different for my channel. And uh, we are going to be playing Sonic 3. And Sonic 3 is something I used to play a hell of a lot when I was a child. Um, as you can see I've already completed the game once. So we've got all stages unlocked but we're going to start a new game right here. Um, each video is going to be 15 minutes long guys. Um, I'm not going to say my goodbyes at the end of every 15 minutes. I'm pretty much going to do a like a, a straight playthrough um, and slice the video up into three parts hopefully maybe four but uh, let's get things underway so Sonic gets his emeralds stolen off him by Knuckles who is an echidna um, Knuckles is actually the master emerald keeper he looks after the master emeralds that's his duties um, his species of hedgehog is echidna um, Echidna is actually a real um, hedgehog too, just in case you guys are wondering that. Um, Echidna is from Australia, I think, and other sort of, and some of the southern parts of Europe as well. I'm not sure about America. But uh, an Echidna uses its knuckles to, um, to find worms and, and bugs and stuff like that to feed itself. I'm not very good at these stages. I've never actually managed to get all seven emeralds, unfortunately. But uh, I will give it a good go in this game. Usually when I play this game, it's all about completing it in the most amount of time as possible. Um, I think my fastest time at the moment is about 42 minutes to complete Sonic 3. So let's get things underway. Um, throughout this um, playthrough, I'll probably be giving you random facts about Sonic. Um, if I can think up some. Maybe I can tell you some childhood stories too. Because I used to play Sonic until it used to pour out of my ears. I was that big of a Sonic fan. I used to play it every day for hours and hours. Me and my best buddy Alex. I used to go over his house every day. And we would just sit in front of the TV playing Sonic on, on a 14 inch television maybe a lot smaller like a 10 inch television too something like that so we've got our first emerald the green emerald my favorite emerald so uh, Knuckles is not going to be happy about that Angel Island Ooh, so we're actually on Knuckles island at the moment Angel Island is an island that floats um, on the on the island there is actually a um, a small temple that houses the master emerald um, it actually houses the the smaller emeralds to the ones that we are collecting at the moment um, Dr. Robotnik has duped Knuckles into thinking that me and Tails are the bad guys when we're not we're just the we're just the good guys you know so uh, he's um, stopping us from getting to Robotnik and trying to spoil, spoil things for us, where he doesn't know um, he doesn't know what's good at the moment. But later on in the game, um, he will. That's how you do that. He will discover the truth. Um, not in this game, unfortunately, but in Sonic and Knuckles, which is the next installment for this game. Which is pretty much a patch rather than um, a standalone game. There is some standalone aspects in it, but Sonic and Knuckles you could actually um, plug into Sonic 3 and 2 to allow Knuckles to become a playable character within the game. Um, that's something I used to love. <coughs> Excuse a war. Um, my microphone setup is quite weird at the moment. My microphone is literally in front of my mouth. So I don't know if I'm going to be too too loud or not. Ah. I did not get even one ring from that. Not even one ring. Okay. So it's boss time. <clears throat> so it's this thing again. Did you see what it did then? It's, it trolled me because I just kept on getting so many repetitive hits on it. Well, I'm not going to get that back. Ooh, I did. I got it. That's how you get a television screen out of the actual end. 
sign. You actually do a supersonic spin while it falls on top of you. Um, you can actually knock it around for a while too. Um, as for the older Sonic games, the original games, you could get it to land on like a picture of Robotnik or yourself to get like a one up, a life, but uh, all the years I've been playing this game, I haven't experienced that yet. Where you actually get a bonus from trying to get the sign to land on a different character's face. Because it never does, it always stops on Sonic. So, I've got the strangest feeling that I'm not going to do too well on this one. Especially when things start to get a lot faster. I'm actually using an analog for this game at the moment, so I don't get um, I don't get a sharp directional sort of turn. I could accidentally push the analog stick in a diagonal pattern, in a diagonal fashion, where I may um, cause myself to have an error during these um, emerald search and bonus sort of mission things. See, I've already messed up now. I seriously needed to double jump that then. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do all of these like this. And then we'll come out on the other end. <clears throat> I got a feeling that this is just gonna go so fast in a moment that I will not be able to keep up. Okay, we done it. We got our second emerald. I actually did a run of this earlier and um I totally failed at every single one I got to, but fortunately now I seem to be performing quite well for the recording, so that's awesome. Score 7100. 7100. So we're still on Angel Island. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> that's what happens when you talk too much. Um, I'm not going to be drinking during this um, Let's Play too. So um, I'm probably going to be coughing quite a lot further down the line, which I'll try not to do. But please excuse me if I do. This will help us bounce. Bloing. Um, this actually helps us breathe underwater too. Which is kind of cool. Doesn't protect us from much things actually. Um, it's got this weird bounce to it, which is not quite hand it's it's not very handy at all it doesn't do anything for you that's a secret way for knuckles to go there can't actually get that way with sonic because you haven't got the ability to um, punch through walls um, if you actually do play this game with sonic and knuckles extension pack installed whoops um, you get a lot of access to other areas and I think here you need 50 rings to be illegible for that. Can I break that? Yes. Some rocks you can break, some you can't. Some are specific for specific characters. Um, as you can see, I'm not rushing through the game too. I'm actually talking my head off so much. Um, I, I'll i just be dying left, right, and center. Okay, we've got 51 rings now. Let's go down this way. Here we go. Secret bouncer under here. There we go. The best thing to do with these is just to jump over them. Um, I know there's a time. There's a timer for them so that um, um, they disappear accordingly. But uh, I just throw myself over them, really. I've been doing it for years. I sort of. The chances of making an error are quite slim. Okay, we should have our secret stage now. So this is an opportunity to get an additional life. You can start with the default three lives. So what you do is bounce left and right all the time like this. There we go. So we make our way back up and we continue going left and right until we spin out another life hopefully or maybe something we can use during the stage we're currently on. Or we can just leave it run out. Nothing good's come out at the moment. Last chance. Nope. Anything else? Nope. 
Okay, we got rings and we have got static electricity, which uh, attracts rings. So you'll see it in a moment. What I mean by this, we're going to fling in the air in a moment and we're going to continue doing a sprint in the right direction. Okay, so when we get rings close to us, um, the static electricity sort of force sort of makes them come towards us. And we could do a double jump like that. But uh, our priority at the moment is just to keep running to the right. Um, Tails is obviously doing a very bad job at there at the moment. Um, he's very constipated. And uh, he's walking a bit like Clint Eastwood at the moment. So it's a bit impossible for him to catch up. Okay, so we're going to be running to our next boss. We're going to be running towards a small bridge where we will bump into um, none other than... What? I just glitched through him. Okay, we're going to be bumping into someone none other than Dr. Robotnik. But uh, you guys, if you started playing Sonic the Hedgehog at... Well, if he wasn't born in 1986 like me, you would probably not know who Dr. Robotnik is, but that's the original name for Dr. Eggman. And can we go backwards? Nope, I thought we could fling over there. Okay, this thing's kind of cool too. Yeah, but his name is Dr. Robotnik. This is the story behind it too, where um, Dr. Robotnik used to be a good man in the land of Mobius. We're not in Mobius at the moment, we're on... We're on um, Knuckles' island. But uh, he, one of his own experiments causes him to become evil. Um, therefore, he gives himself the nickname of Dr. Robotnik. Uh, but later on in the Sonic um, franchise, um, they decided to rename Robotnik Eggman because he looks like an egg. Um, I sort of disagree with that, but... Okay, double hit there, and we just got straight away from him. Uh, we'll have plenty of opportunities to put hits on him in a moment. We want to get straight underneath him, like so. Uh, because we got the fire guard on, it's not going to do any damage to us at the moment. So it's all, it's all done. We got the fire guard on, so the fire wouldn't hurt us. So next thing we want to do is free all the animals here. Now uh, these capsules actually turn. Um, the the animals into robots into robotic animals okay so the next stage is where we catch up to Knuckles now but he has an idea but I also have a counter idea he's gonna press the switch to throw us off I jump up <laughs> so you know Knuckles you thought you had me but you didn't brah I'm still here but um, that's actually a glitch in the game where you can do that. But we do have to fall off. There's nothing else we can do. Fall to the left now so we can collect some rings. And then jump on this. So that's a quick way of doing this level. This level used to be very hard for me to play. But it's, it's quite easy now. Okay, we flip the switch. We use the beams to help us get through. We end up coming down here. We use all this in our aid to get over here. I don't need any air because I'm a boss. Okay, so we got this now, so we don't need any oxygen. Um, as you can see, my timer was just about to start then. You know when you're in trouble when you're playing Sonic because um, it goes did 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 did, but uh, that doesn't really happen to me as often as it used to. Um, I've literally played this game so many times. I could possibly do this game with my eyes shut, and I seriously wouldn't put that past me. I seriously would give it a go at that. Now uh, we did lose our rings unfortunately when we was under the water section, but that's okay. Let's go along down here. Use the spring for our advantage. What the hell happened then? I sort of... There was a bit of a delay then from that spring flinging us off. Okay, so we want to go to the right. 
<clears throat> I'm going to try an alternative route here by using...